Hello friends. Today we'll open the Asus ROG Strix G16 2025. The laptop has a rear cover with a Q-latch locking mechanism featuring two indicators. One indicator is here, red means unlock. To remove the cover, pull the slider and push it right. Red should appear in this opening as well. That's it, we're done. Here's how you open the Q-latch system from another angle. This quick release door lets you reach the RAM and SSD bays without removing any screws. The laptop has two SSD slots that along with the RAM slots are exposed. However, we will first remove the cover and battery. We start by disconnecting the ribbon cable to the motherboard. Done. Now we unscrew the first screw at the top left. We remove the loosened screw and proceed with the rest. The first and fourth screws are shorter. M2 thread with a 5.5mm threaded length. The other 14 screws are 10mm long. We use a JS number 1 screwdriver to remove them. Sort the screws into separate places to speed up reassembly. Here is the second short screw. The total screw count is 16. Two short and 14 long. These two screws together with the bottom cover also secure the battery. Cooling is handled by a revamp tree fan system, a full width vapor chamber and liquid metal on CPU and GPU. This cooling system helps the ROG G16 achieve record performance with the RTX 5070T. The two SSD slots and the RAM are user accessible and can be reached without fully removing the battery. Still, ASS recommends discharging the battery to 25% or less before opening the device to reduce electrical risk. We will remove the battery first as well. With a thin plastic tool, we start releasing the cover's locking clips. Don't.
with the bottom plate off you can see the sandwich heat sink and the three fan array stretching across the rear. The battery connector is under the little third fan. The third screw also secures the cover. We disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Please avoid pulling the connector by its wires. We detach the battery connector by lifting it upward while slightly pulling sideways so the red wires lose contact first. We remove the remaining two screws that attach the battery to the chassis. Here is the RAM, both so DM slots except DDR5, 5 is 600 modules up to 64 GB total. We peel off the SSD's protective sticker. Stop. That was the wrong spot. Here's the right place. There's a locking tab instead of a screw. We lift it to about 15 degrees and pull it out of the slot. The thermal pad stayed stuck underneath. This is the M.2 slot that supports PCI Express Gen 5 drives. It has SD1 encryption. On the left, just beside the Wi-Fi card module, is the second SD slot. It supports PCI Express Gen 4 drives. For wireless connectivity, we have a triple bandwi, 5.7 card, 2F2 plus Bluetooth 5.4. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.